International governmental organisations like the World Bank and International Monetary Fund are major producers of aggregate data. With their global reach and representation in many countries, they are well placed to collect and aggregate social and economic data. We'll look at a few of these organisations and types of data they produce. The World Bank collects time series data on all aspects of human development worldwide and is designed for international comparability. The World Development Indicators is a good database to start. It covers topics such as economic policy, health, education, poverty, trade, social protection and labour. The coverage is excellent, meaning there are data for most countries for most topics. Here you can see the proportion of seats held by women in national parliaments during 2016. The countries in green have the higher proportion and the countries in red the lower proportions. Here you can see a chart of the 10 countries with the highest proportions. These data come from the World Development Indicators. The OECD is an organisation dedicated to economic development. It currently has 35 member countries, which includes many of the world's most advanced countries, but also emerging countries like Mexico, Chile and Turkey. The datasets cover a vast amount of topics such as economics, health, environment, migration, employment tax, social and welfare. Most of the data are country level, but there are some data at smaller country regional level. Here you can see deaths due to transport accidents for several countries. You can see these have been falling over the years, but notice the huge spike due to the Estonian ferry disaster in 1994. This map shows Indian immigrants. The map shows you where these people are resident. It mainly covers OECD countries. The International Monetary Fund published data on national accounts, trade, balance of payments, government spending, for most countries. Collectively, they provide a global picture of economic development and international trade. Here you can see the price of gold from 1965 onwards, and these data came from the International Financial Statistics. The International Energy Agency covers detailed data concerning energy prices and taxes, CO2 emissions, energy statistics and balances covering electricity, coal, natural gas, oil and renewables. There are of course other international data providers, we have just concentrated on some of the most well known. Take a look at the international macro data that we have in ukds.stats at stats.ukdataservice.ac.uk.